Earth. Got a copy? I don't know, know if you've had your copy and correct grammar yet today, but if you haven't, let's get some in you. So today I'm going to complete the three-part series of mini workshops that I've done here on copy and correct grammar. And so I'm just going to get started. This, Hopefully this will be the third and final one. If I need to do another one or if I run out of time, uh, I'll be happy to do another one. But hopefully we'll get her done this time. This is going to be concerned with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, function. To begin with, I'm just going to use a simple phrase as an example. Now, I do recommend that you go back and you watch one and two and complete those workshops available for free. And what a conjunction is. You have to know what it is. To put it in a general sense, it's a neutral condition of state. It does not modify anything, nor is it modified by anything. And in correct sentence structure, it is a bridge, a neutral bridge between fact or between position, lodial fact phrases. And of course, in the fiction, it can be a bridge between, or it can be a bridge between. Any that's funny. On a quick note, that tells me who's serious about this and who isn't serious about it. People would rather just hear about drawn bullshit, I guess. But thank you to those that are still here and who are serious about learning grammar. I was told live that my email address, which is going to appear down here when I replay it, kind of covered over the sentences. So I'm going to be cognizant of that and hold this up high. So here's the sentence. Well, actually, to be correct, it is not a sentence. It's a portion, a sentence structure. Think of this in the same way as you would write your name, perhaps. Like instead of for the Jason hyphen Matthew period, it's for the pen forward slash paper period. It's not a sentence because there's no verb in it. It's not a claim in that sense. It doesn't have a verb of the thinking. It's just to illustrate the conjunction because in correct sentence structure in my dictionary and styles manual, I give closure that a forward slash is a symbol that represents the conjunction and. So how would you syntax this word group? It is correct sentence structure. This is the domain of correct sentence structure. How would you syntax this? Go ahead and type it in the comments if you feel squirrely. This is correct sentence structure. This is a teaching domain here. For sake of brevity and not writing everything out, I'm just using this section of the sentence. Jason, do you have a guess? as to how you would syntax that. For the pen forward slash paper, period. What syntax values would you bank? No, nothing, okay. Five, six, seven, zero, seven. Four is a positional serving the function of a cause. The is a lodial. It's a six. Seven is a fact. The forward slash, as I gave closure to, is a conjunction, the conjunction and, which is a neutral value of zero. And then paper is a fact. It's a seven. So it's a five, six, seven, zero, seven. As I stated at the beginning, the conjunction is a neutral bridge in correct sentence structure between facts or between position lodial fact phrases. And in this case, 56707. I'll give you the next example.
for the pen and for the paper. As I just stated, conjunctions in correct sentence structure can perform of a neutral bridge between facts or between position lodial fact phrases. So in this case, it's performing the function of a bridge between position lodial fact phrases. And that is correct. Five, six, seven, zero, five, six, seven. Now, if I were to abbreviate this and use, instead of using for the, if I was to put a full colon instead of this for the, and instead of this for the, what would it look like if I were to use punctuation can someone write this out using full colons and gaining the integrity of the facts and the integrity of the mathematical interface and the values of what's in this? Again, anybody out there, punctuate this sentence using full colons. Okay, Jason, thank you. Uh, but what I'm asking you for is to write it out. You don't have to explain it to me. Just write it out. How how it would look. look. Using punctuation in place of those position lodial phrases. So Piero says colon pen forward slash paper colon. That is not correct. What you have in essence said is for the pen and paper of the, which is not correct. That is not what this says. This says for the pen and for the paper. What you said for the pen and paper of the. So that is not correct. Tyler is 100% correct. Colon pen, space, and colon paper. This is a mistake that a lot of people make in that they will put colon pen, space, and, and then colon space paper. And that would read and of the paper, which is not correct and breaks the mathematical interface. It has to be exactly what it says if you were to write out the words, for the pen and for the paper. So very, very good, Tyler. That's exactly how it is. I'm gonna write it out a different way. Well, actually, I'm gonna write it out the way that uh, is incorrect to show you an example. This is incorrect for pen and colon space paper because this says for the pen and of the paper when it's supposed to say for the pen and for the paper. So it would be for the pen and space colon paper. Or as written, Colon, pen, colon, paper, for the pen and for the paper. Says the same thing here, for the pen and for the paper. So that's five, six, seven, zero, five, six, seven.
like that. And the final way uh, you can use a, conjun a conjunction in this particular scenario is like this, for the pen and paper. How would you syntax this one? For the pen and paper. How would you syntax it? What syntax values be using the correct sentence structure syntax values of five, six, seven, two. How would you syntax that? For the pen and paper. For the pen and paper. Piero, 100% correct. In this case, the conjunction is a bridge between the facts. So when you're looking at this, 56707, this is exact syntax as this for the pen and paper, 56707, 56707. So as you can see, there are options available to you. I guess YouTube or Comcast or Xfinity, I guess they don't want this powerful, uh, powerful conjunction knowledge to get out to the public. Ooh, dangerous. So they're interfering with the stream. Oh no. <laughs> So again, uh, as I was saying, the way I determine how I use a conjunction and correct sentence structure is I take my reader into account. I try to keep it as simple as I can and as readable as I can while maintaining the mathematical interface using these conjunctions. And that's what you know it's all about, taking into consideration your reader. Because think about it. How many people do you know that have closure on this grammar, that can read it and understand it? How many people do you personally know? Now, now think about this. Someone who knows nothing about this grammar, how are they going to look at it? To simplify things and make it as simple and concise as you possibly can? to do because that's the honor and grace peace neutrality rule one rule equal performances and on top of that when i write out a correct sentence structure i will also translate uh, translate into plain english plain simple english so there will be no misunderstanding well they can't claim a misunderstanding unless they don't english so that's an element that i've brought to the table I don't know anyone else who really does that. I do it because I figure if you're going to be totally, you know, you're going to perform with the balance of the honor and the grace, it's a necessity. I'm not here to be misunderstood. I'm not here to tell everybody that they have a second grade reading level. I'm here to teach and share knowledge and if need be, stop trespass and, uh, you know, things like that and teach other people how to do that. And hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to think of if there's anything else about this conjunction that I need to uh, address. Okay. The ampersand. I don't know if anybody knows what ampersand is. It's the, I'll try and draw it on the paper. It's the symbol that some people use for the word ant.
for the pen and paper. This is my horrible rendition of the ampersand. It's perfectly acceptable to use that rather than the word and. If you give closure in your dictionary, your contract dictionary, that the ampersand equals the conjunction and. Just the same as you would have to give closure that the forward slash equals the conjunction and. You have to give closure to everything that you're doing. And there goes my internet again. Hmm. It's going to be interesting trying to piece this one together. I guess I might as well stop while I'm ahead. Hopefully I have enough material recorded here in these 23 minutes uh, to cobble together the third part of the workshop. So that ends the conjunction, uh, coffee and correct grammar. I'm going to continue to do these little mini classes because um, I know people have short intention spans. I'm pretty sure the fiction system is not worried about this in the least because it takes a hell of a lot of commitment to learn this. In your dictionary of one word equals one meaning, defining the word pen is a challenge. Therefore, a story about the word is better than a few words. A story about the word. I'm not sure what you mean there, Jason. In the dictionary, it would be a correct sentence structure claim. I mean, I guess if you want to view it, it is a story, a story, but it has to be in correct sentence structure. If it's your volition to write a story for your finite mean in your dictionary, it would have to be in correct sentence structure. And I that that would be a challenge, eh? For the gratitude of the student for the knowledge of the teachers with the claimant. Thank you for the sentence, William, and I will critique that sentence as you have boarded this vessel being this is my vessel. So you have now consented uh, to being taught, which is what I'm going to do here. So you are not with the correct sequencing. For the gratitude, which functions as the cause of this student, that's fine, that's a concern. But in order to draw a straight, you must have two points. So you have for the gratitude of this student. Now, since you've established that geometric level playing field of communication, now you have to put the verb of the thinking in. The verb goes after these two points. So you have two position lodial fact phrases for the gratitude of this student is, and then immediately following the verb of the thinking, singular is, would be a possessive with the knowledge in this case, because you have for the knowledge. There is only one, if you put two causes in there, which you have, you have for the gratitude and you have also have for the knowledge that breaks the mathematical interface and throws it into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. So just for sake of brevity and correction, it would be for the gratitude of the student is with the knowledge of the teacher And then you would have to end it with an authority. You cannot end it with the. So I would say with this conveyance and then by this claimant, period. So then back, backwards that would be for the claimant of the conveyance is with the teacher of the knowledge with the student by the gratitude, period. Forwards, backwards maintains the mathematical interface. Same value forwards and backwards. What? One cause, one authority. That way they're interchangeable, just like one plus two equals three, three minus two equals one, with by, of is congruent with with. But there are other little mini workshops that you can check out where I've given closure to that. Also, over 300 videos. Check out my correct sentence structure playlist. I go over from many different angles. Uh, it's all here. I've invested the thousands of hours to create these videos. It would be contingent upon you to invest whatever you feel to study them. 
As always, there's a PayPal link in the About section of my YouTube channel. If you feel this is of any value to you and you feel like you want to return value to me, I'm always open to donation and gifts. Um, otherwise, you can contact me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a confidential workshop, in which case I would schedule a 10 to 15 minute video consult where we would establish whether or not you are serious and this is what you pen for the sheep, which we are talking about. How do you record pen? However you choose to, Jason, you are the master of your construct. Um, however you choose to do that. If you want to log pen, instrument well of course you can't use it as a pen for your sheep so then perhaps you would use a cage or a kennel i mean you just have to think logically think it through look up synonyms and things like that it's very easy very simple all right thank you very much everybody for joining much gratitude to everyone for participating i'm gonna go back and see if i can piece this together condense it and hopefully salvage it uh, to produce the third uh, the third installment of this copy grammar conjunction mini class. If I can't, then I guess I'll just have to come back and do it all over again. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure.